Staff Speaker of this evening, Mr. Vinod Gopal, President and distinguished members. It is a first pleasure to be a chairperson of this very important topic and very important person, Mr. Vinod Gopal. Mr. Vinod Gopal has been uh, uh, doing this work on cystic fibrosis. I am very happy that the audience has chosen the topic as a person who is appropriate topic of the person. Cystic fibrosis actually can present the pulmonary cases, bronchitis. Many of the bronchitis cases, we don't investigate the cystic fibrosis. And here is the person of Dr. Gopal who has an extensive study on this subject. I am very happy that he has delivered this oration in the name of Dr. Raj. I will discuss it more than that. I am delighted to be attending a session on this cystic fibrosis. Honestly, maybe in the last, um, I mean, three, four decades, I've been in practice, maybe I have seen, you know, five cases, far and most. The reason, uh, maybe, uh, lack of awareness, I mean, unless the mind knows, we cannot see it. So, many of these cases of cystic fibrosis, they are unimportant. In fact, in the U.S., I understand that there is a large number of cystic fibrosis cases and there is a society of uh, people who are cystic fibrosis and uh, they have a huge society and uh, incidence is much more there. But perhaps the awareness in our country being not so good and investigating tools being not so available readily, it is possible that uh, these cases are being missed. Yeah, I like to say a few points about cystic fibrosis. And in the chat, I mean, the speaker will uh, enlighten the entire subject for us. Cystic fibrosis, I understand, is a disease of the exocrine gland. And um, predominantly, it, um, it's a defect in the, what we call CFTD, that means cystic fibrosis trans trans or defect. This is a defect in the chloride metabolism. Yes. There are basic defect is it can affect all the epithelial cell surfaces, including the bronchi, the pancreas, the intestines, and so on. And many of these cases can present in various ways. They can present as a sort of, um, a lip, uh, sort of um, deficiency disorders, but there is a deficiency of this function of the into the exocrine action of the pancreas being lost. They can put it as broken cases and uh, they can put it with uh, single tissues causing um, intestinal obstruction. So these are the various most complications, but the criteria are laid down how to diagnose this thing. And any case which we miss, we may be treating as broken cases, but it turns out to be cystic fibrosis later by some of the consultants like Mary Gopal who sort of um, uh, completely investigate the case including a strict chloride test. We hardly do a strict chloride test in routine practice. So, and the management I'm sure she will work on this uh, to say the main management of cystic fibrosis revolves around uh, good drainage, antibiotic treatment as the required, and uh, and to investigate the cases because it may run in families. There's no premium to diagnosis you can make because that's going to be difficult. But I think many of the cases run in families, so it's good to, if a person has got cystic fibrosis in the family, it may be good to sort of investigate the family for cystic fibrosis. And um, uh, before I sort of um, hand over, I just would like to um, say that um, we would be enlightened because this incidence of pseudomonas is very common in cystic fibrosis. I'm sure he will tell you on this reason why pseudomonas infection is common in cystic fibrosis. And I'm sure at the end of that uh, session we will be able to get a lot more learning about this cystic fibrosis. Thank you so much.